Hi everybody, a very good morning. Welcome back to part two, our second of three live shows today here at Carnation. And it's a time of the month that we always look forward to where we bring you a fantastic brand new launch. This one is new and exclusive to us for the time being. You won't get it anywhere else uh, for a good few days. And you know how quick Carnation are at getting the orders out. If you order it now, the chances are you might get it tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the day after. Um, and this is Care and Kindness, which you've absolutely loved. Uh, we had a massive response to the Facebook Live that Carla did last night giving you a tease to this. We had a really busy first show at nine o'clock this morning that you can watch back a bit later if you want to, to see the demos. But we're going to have a, a demo packed hour as well, showing you what Karen Kindness is all about. Now you've got, the first thing to notice is the beautiful help and healing panels that you've got there. So this is definitely a nod to DL style cards, which are very, very popular and very, very fashionable at the moment. So you've got your beautiful florals in there that you can see. Now the florals that we were debating about in the nine o'clock show, I can now tell you they are ginseng, We've got ginkgo, ginkgo chamomile, chamomile, lavender, lavender, and, and there was one other. The healing flowers. The healing I think that's flowers. All of them. Yeah, exactly. So there, there we are. We've, cl we've cleared up any confusion. They're all to do with the healing properties of flowers, and of course that leads nicely on to the medical side of things with the characters that you've got here as well. So this is a collection for those of you that want to send cards to people that are maybe going through a bit of a tough time, not necessarily in hospital or anything, but maybe they're just feeling a bit under the weather. Um, it's also very, very beautiful and elegant with the flowers, but whimsical and a little bit of a, a tongue-in-cheek nod to humour with the characters that you've got. You've got the bunny rabbit, you've got the squirrel, you've got Dr. Duck, uh, you've got the bear that's in bed, you've got the little robin with a, a broken wing, bless it. Um, and, and of course, all the extras that you associate, like stethoscopes, thermometers, that sort of thing too. Over here, I, I love this. And anyone that knows me knows that I love anything that got, that's got like sun's rays. And of course, that's what this is all about. The sunny side corner so this could be look on the sunny side. It could be a ray of sunshine if someone's getting over a poorly bout or something like that. Then down the bottom, you've got some beautiful verses. Feel better. Um, get well, get soon. well soon. And speedy, speedy recovery. recovery. Sorry, it's a bit of an awkward angle to see the screen. And then next to that, you've then got everything associated with, stated with uh, medicine. You've got the drip there. You've got the bench, which could also be someone sort of maybe a vet's bench as well as, a, of course, a human's bench. Um, you've got the medical kit there as well. You've got the bag of ice. And then on the left hand side, you've got the hot water bottle. You've got the cupper. You've got the bag of peas that takes me back to my childhood when mum would put a bag of peas on my bruised leg or whatever and I fall off the bike. Um, you've then got, of course, your cup of soup and you've got your bedside table as well. So all of that is the Care and Kindness collection. Now it's a brilliant price actually, under a hundred pounds. It's 99.99 <laughs> and that price is a limited time price only until Friday at midnight or while stocks last, whichever sells out and happens first, okay? 240202, if you want to split the payments, we can do PayPal pay in three and also clear pay if you wish to. Free PMP in the UK, because of course you're spending over 50 pounds and if you're watching us in the United States, which many of you do regularly, you can order as well. Uh, your shipping and handling will be $4.95 if you buy the collection. If you go for something like Perfect Papers or um, the extra papers that we have, of course, the blank papers that we have on the show, anything like that, then your maximum shipping and handling will be uh, $14.95 if you want your pro print in different GSMs to print your vignettes onto. And talking of the vignettes, they are available to print off right now. So if you purchase the collection at our website, carnationcrafts.co.uk, Pop over once you've done that to the downloads, click on uh, free downloads, and then you'll see the actual artwork there. And that includes all the artwork for all of the dies, but also backing papers as well. Um, I'll show you some finished cards quickly so you can get an idea as to the sort of thing that you can do. Fiona Abbott in our design team has done this one. So she's really uh, made a fantastic scene here with the bear and uh, Dr. Duck coming in attendance there as well. The drips there too. So that could be a, a lovely get well soon card. Or it could be a thank you card to the doctors and nurses at the hospital, couldn't it? If that's where I they've been. I think that's such a lovely idea. Absolutely. I love the wee rainbow at the back as well. Definitely. Is that one of the papers you can print off too? It'll be one of your backing papers, yeah. yeah. So you've got everything that you need in one place. And look at this one. Vera Bow has done this. Now there's so much depth and dimension. Can you see just how many layers is going on in there? It's a real 3D scene. Uh, it's like you're watching a, a, an episode of The Doctors, really, isn't it? Fantastic. And then we've got something a little bit more, um, a little bit more serious, I suppose, but such elegance and sophistication. Look at these layers on this stepper card. But look at this die. Now, this die isn't in the main collection. It is available as a separate die, uh, die set, which we'll come on to in a second. But that's getting me really excited. It looks like a harp string. It really, really does. Beautiful. 
very sophisticated indeed. Janine Dawson's done that one. Nice one, Janine. Uh, a few more. This is using one of those radiating sun dyes, but this time in a different colorway, not yellow, more of a turquoisey color. And you've got, I think, uh, lavender and lime in there as well, colorways. But isn't that sweet? So you can make them as big, as impressive as you wish, or as small and as cute as you wish. Um, tell a story with them, paint a picture but just really lovely, lovely collection. Now, less than £100, amazing. Now, what uh, Taz has done, she's put on the screen for you the contemporary card shapes. Now, this works really well with the main collection too. The one that really gets me excited is the geometric lines. I love that. I mean, it looks a little bit like a jukebox possibly as well, but you've got so many elements. If I just show you again with that picture or that um, card that I showed you, where's that gone that I put down? That 3D one, this one here. I mean, look at that. From that die set, this sort of easel card is what you can achieve. I mean, that is just really special. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's the sort of thing you can do with this. And the easy ladder card shape is coming with it as well. You can buy them on their own, but you get the best deal if you buy both together. And of course, the easy uh, ladder card shape can also become a picket fence. It can also become a railway line if you want it to be. It could be all sorts of things and it is totally snippable too. Now both of these together, I believe half the stock of these have now gone at 39.99 to get both. 240209, it stands alone. You don't have to use it with the, uh, with the Care and Kindness collection, but it does work very, very well with it. So those are your two main offers. Don't forget the Perfect Papers. They're available, 48 sheets of 300 GSM in colorways, as you can see, that will work so well with the artwork that you can print off right now free of charge at Carnation crafts.co.uk and you can't buy this collection anywhere else for now and you'll get it maybe even tomorrow as soon as your order is placed carnation are really good they get the order pick it pack it post it usually same day you'll probably get it tomorrow if not tomorrow the day after we're in the hands of your postal service wherever you may be so only you know how efficient your postal service is but carnation will get it out today carla's here taz is here we're all here with launch day Hello, my love. Hello, lovely face. Are you all right? I'm good. We've had a brew. The world is good. It was all very lovely. But we are going to look at the boards for this incredible, incredible launch. It's launch week. We love launch week. It means we're getting new inspiration, new ideas. It means we are getting further along the lines with our crafting journey. And Carnation are always going to take us that step further. This collection is going to fill a massive gap that we have of get well soon cards, take care cards. The really, really important but lovely sentimental cards that we have. So looking at the boards that we've got here, you've got your sunny corner die. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Now, one thing I love about this, and I love at the minute with Carnation, where we've got all of these nested dies. We know the importance of nested dies, and we're getting them within the card shapes. So we don't just have your card base, your mat, and your layer. We also then get those extra shifting points. Now, that means I can have larger mats and layers if I want, as in a bigger gap between each one. It also means that I can create apertures and other gorgeous elements. We also have on here an extra die that creates this textural piece that we can use in backgrounds and it's super important to have. We've also got three colorways for the sun rays. So you've got your yellows, your greens and your lavenders. Where are you going to use those? And also if you put four together, which oval nested dies are you going to use those on? Because they will make a gorgeous oval there as well. So lots of different changing ways that we've got of playing with these, this collection. And Dave's got samples for you here of amazing work done by the DT Sam. Look at these. And so you can see using some of the slightly larger matte dies, so you've got more of a, a border to it rather than having it close up to those, those rays, but beautifully done. And this one's using that very subtle, but nevertheless striking, um, almost like a stardust effect in the background mm. with dots and dashes. Very pretty, isn't yeah, it? Love it? Textural pieces are always going to be incredibly important when we're creating. It's it's a visual tool that we use and that we, you know, we rely on for really impactful cards. We then go on to our gorgeous help and healing panels, which are stunning. That board is incredible, isn't it? So these are all of your healing florals. We've got your chamomile, we've got your ginkgo, we've got your ginseng, and we've got your French lavender here as well. If you watched the previous show, you'll know that we didn't know any of those names and that in fact Carnation <laughs> have come to our rescue. Thank you very much, Lisa. Um, so we have now got all the names of the things we need. We can say it knowledgeably. You've then got nested panels. 
these are really important as well because not only can we put the appropriate sized floral on these, we can create apertures for those florals to go into. So it depends how you're making your cards and how you want them to actually be visually impactful yourself. And we can use them independently. That's another important part of these. So you're not just getting these beautiful panels, you're getting a full set of nested dies, including ones that are in these small sizes, which can be used for sentiments as well. And why is that important when we can cut a rectangle ourselves? Well, because Carnation give us that very structured beveled edge on all of our nested panels when the die cut, and so that really helps. And um, when you look at the board, let's convert it into a finished card. Using those beautiful panels, really stylish thin panels, and those florals together, you can make something like this. You can make something like this without the panels. You can make that fantastic scene with almost like a trellis with that ladder in the background. And also using one of the other card blanks that we showed you earlier on, how about that? So that's combining the panels from that die set that Carl has just shown you with the beauty of the geometric lines card shape, which is of course an optional extra in the show, but they all work together so well, don't they? They do, they're really beautiful. I think everything that Carnation do, especially when they do collections, it's all a mix and match, isn't it? It's like a pick and mix of perfection. And it means we get to just play in ways that are really, really lovely. And we're always going to come out with excellent products at the end, and that's a really nice thing. We've got your gorgeous characters here, and these are all of the whimsy you could possibly need. And also all of the, Everything sort of says what it needs to be. If you want to go for the very cutesy, you've got the bear here who's just sitting in bed with his blanket on, his pillows behind him, or we can go for something that's possibly more significant to us. You've got the wee Robin there. Uh, so you can work out which ways you want to play. We've got Dr. Duck, just, <laughs> just beyond cute, uh, but also could just be in a t-shirt. Bear in mind, if you use that in a different context. I think in between shows, card, I'm gonna Google Dr. Duck because I'm sure there is one somewhere. I bet there is a Dr. Mm. Duck. I bet there, there must is. be. Yep. Then you've got your beautiful little rabbit in scrubs here as well with his gorgeous long line ears. You've got the mouse, the iconic mouse, Carnation's mouse, wearing a doctor's coat. And we said before, for those of you who are big collectors of the Carnation mice, this is an absolute must have. He is a completely different mouse to the rest of the ones we've got. And so we add him into our collection for our build as we go through the scenes. You've got your gorgeous little squirrel on crutches here with his broken leg, which is very cute. And Listen, if you wanted to send a card for somebody with a broken leg or a broken arm, you would never normally have those elements to you do it with. No. We now have a broken leg. Now, my, I'm just remembering my mum had a fall in the garden a few months ago and she broke her wrist. That robin with a sling would have been perfect, perfect. for my mum, wouldn't it? Because you've got all of the elements going yeah. through, haven't you? You've then got the stethoscope and you've got the magnifying glass for those characters to wear as well. So super sweet. And here's a few of the other characters in scenarios. And again, because you've got the different characters in different um, you know, setups, you've got the doctor, you've got the patient, You've got the, the drip there as well. You can kind of tailor make the scene to the occasion that you're celebrating, whether it's someone getting better from, um, I don't know, an illness, or an infection, or whether it's someone getting better from a broken arm, or whether it's just because someone's just been feeling a bit down. We all have down days, especially in January and February when the weather's not that great. It could be that just someone's been feeling a bit under the weather and has been, you know, just a bit cheesed off. Uh, then this could, again, just make them feel so much better. Uh, I think his temperature looks fine now. I think he's okay to go home by the looks of it. Do you reckon? I reckon. Uh, it's probably a bit high with all that tea soup and a hot water bottle around. Maybe. <laughs> That's what I used to do when I was a kid. Dip the mum to in a cup of tea before my mum came up. <laughs> when you wanted to get a day off school. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I used to put it on the hot water bottle. Yeah. <coughs> Thomas um, started taking me to hospital. <laughs> No, Mum, I'm not that bad. It's all right. Don't yeah, worry. I was pretending. It's fine. But we go from there to a little extra help. And this has got so many sweet features. That's the thermometer Dave was just talking about. Again, the level of detail we go to here. You've got your doctor's bag with your medical sign on it. Also the scissors. So it's indisputably what it is. We're not looking at it and going, well, what is it? We know that's the iconography that we're looking at. You've got the little table here. You've got the IV drip and you've got the little ice pack for the head which is very sweet in its floral shape so it looks dead cute on the animals it's very lovely and if you look at it again in a card scenario it's really telling a lovely story i've got to say hello to jacqueline ward on facebook she said dave i just googled it and there is a dr duck <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Um, it's for stage two children's books. So it's a Dr. Oh, Duck character in, in children's very books. Cute. But there probably is a real Dr. Duck somewhere as well, I reckon. Think? I reckon. Yeah. Now, this is right up my street. The bag of peas. How many of us have bags of peas on our, when we came off our bike, fell off our go-kart, whatever, our scooter? Uh, Mum was there, bag of peas on the bruise. 
Did she? Mm. My mum used to say, is it broken? And I'd say no. And she'd be, on your way then. <laughs> <laughs> Not wasting my peas. <laughs> we had to be dying <clears throat> to get any of that. I had the mumps once and my mum said, I hope, you're, I hope you're being serious. So you've got your peas there. Then you've got your hot water bottle. You've got your light on the bedside table. You've got your cup of tea and you've got your warm soup there. Remember, everything with carnation is snippable. If you want to remove the steam, so you're just having the actual bowl there, absolutely yours to do so. And that's a joy, isn't it, as well? The same way that we've got pit marks going across the lamp and the table here. We can remove the lamp, we can use it separately. Think of comfort of home. You've now got a side table. Everything is changeable. We've got a side table that can have a cup of tea on it. You've got all of these different elements. Remember, they go in with other collections too. We don't have to just focus on the one in hand. We can mix, we can match, and we can play. And then Fiona has done this, uh, the bag of peas on the head. Fiona's done this particular one for us. Fiona Abbott, really lovely uh, display card. Uh, again, with all those elements that we were showing you there. So the bedside cabinet on the left and the right, the steaming mug of soup. That's all you want to eat when you're in hospital isn't it or if you've been feeling a bit poorly but your chicken soup I'm tomato soup yeah. what are you Taz? Carla's chicken soup. Chicken soup okay oh yes Carla's I do make a good soup. chicken soup. You do actually yeah you do you do. <laughs> it is my my thing I, I really like hospital food. Do you? Mm, I do I might be the only person in the world I really really like hospital food. <coughs> I don't know why, I do. Actually, when my dad was in hospital, he now loves lasagna. He'd never had it before in his oh, life, okay. but they gave it to him in hospital. Now it's a thing he loves every week, so there you go. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, uh, so there you go. And I was in hospital for a long time at one point. I very much like it. We've now got your sentiments, your caring words. So you've got get well soon, feel better, and speedy recovery. Now, each one of these comes with its own mat layer. Why is that important? Well, because sometimes we want the sentiment to be the showstopper in that card. We want it to be the, uh, the pronounced element in that card and we can do that by using the matte layer which allows us to raise it up on foam tape or something else so that it's prominent in the center of the card and so carnation will always give us that as an option or we can use it just as it is remember when we're looking at sentiments you can use your perfect papers to cut them you can use your backing papers to cut them or you can cut them in in, in white cardstock for instance this is a time when your blush papers also become useful because you can use them in those off-white colors really gorgeous sentiments get well soon feel better that's my favorite yeah mine speedy mine recover feel better is for so many things it literally covers an absolute remit if you've got somebody who's feeling not necessarily themselves but they're not actually poorly feel better that, it's that goes a long a way, powerful, doesn't it? Powerful, yeah, it's yeah. a really powerful sentiment. Janine's done this one, so there's you get well soon. It's a lovely font, and again, cut out of the perfect papers. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> I think someone's using That's a drill a next drill. door. I thought it was me making that noise when I turned the chair. Feel better. There's you feel better. And then the other one we've got is Speedy Recovery, which is that one there, that stunning card by Vera. I love that. Yeah. Vera, kudos to you. That is quite the thing. That's, that's a theatre. That's a theatre set, it? isn't it? It really is. Look at the dimension. 240202. And now, if you're interested in the other accompanying dies that we've got available for you, half the stock of these went in the earlier show. We have only had one, one show live. We did a tease with them yesterday with Carla. You've got your geometric lines card shape, and you've got your easy ladder card shape as well. And let me again just put a couple in so you can see what that geometric lines card shape can turn into. It's striking. It's so fine. It looks like a harp string. It really, really does, or the front of a jukebox possibly too, but it's wonderful. You can have things behind it. You can see the radiating rays from the sun behind the actual uh, main die shape. Very, very beautiful indeed. And then this one has been used as, this is the uh, card that Carla did in the last show, actually. Um, that one's been used as a picket fence. So I didn't see that to start off with until I saw a few of the finished cards. Yeah, didn't think about that. You can use it as picket fence. You can use it as a train track if you want to as well. Lots of ways of using it using it maybe as a trellis for fab um, for plants and so on isn't that beautiful so lots of ways of using it and there's also snip lines where you see those uh, horizontal white lines they're actually snip lines so if you wanted to cut it to a certain size um, make it shorter or whatever you could do that easily but also you can actually if you wanted to pop little um, 
foliage and ferns and flowers <coughs> in there. So it could be like a garden trellis if you wanted it to be. Or again, it could be foliage um, on that picket fence. You could have lots of lovely wild flowers growing out of the little slits if you wanted to. So very versatile. I can see why half the stock went earlier. You get both of them and it's 240209 at 39.99. Now, if you buy that today, your PMP will be 295. If you buy it with the main collection at the same time in the same transaction, you won't pay any PMP because you're spending over 50 pounds. And remember, PayPal pay in three and click Clear pay is there as an option if you want to spread the cost or if you're not wanting to do that and just want to put it on debit or credit card that's absolutely fine but carnation will get your order out asap as soon as it's placed it's picked it's packed it's posted now we've got the uh we've got the fence now or the uh, we have the ladder. easy ladder card shape there's so many things we can do with this honestly the amount of different collections that we've got that this can be utilized in think of even just putting a nested oval around that and having that as your textured background detail maybe with an aperture so you're looking into it and build your florals through it it's got so much diversity just in that one panel shape it's super chunky and lovely great depth here for being able to put uh, your your sentiments on so you've got a really lovely utilized uh, sort of piece that we can really build on and florals behind it imagine that raised up on foam tape florals behind lots of elements and ways of using it you've got your card base you've got mats you've got layers you've even got a vignette for your ladder so that's artwork for those of that you are brand new vignette whenever i use that term or dave does it means a piece of artwork that is free to you at home uh, that carnation craft provide for you so that you can create perfection every single time you make a card and this is the easy step ladder card shape it is absolutely exquisite and we move on from that one straight onto your geometric lines card shape, My which favorite. is stunning. It's very Art Deco. We just had mm. an Art Deco collection that uh, came out with Carnation not long ago. And this would work perfectly with that as well. But it's actually a really important card shape. You've got movement through this. You can see as it goes through, really pretty movement that goes through the card shape. You've also got your nested dies here that can be used to create small mini apertures. Think of those floral panels that we've got and how they would seat beautifully just in an aperture inside this card shape. So if you used a long panel down here and cut out that aperture, you would be able to use that in your card base. You'd be able to use it on here. You can pop pieces behind so you get kind of a, it's like a visual, a, a visual behind Behind it, we did that with some of the sun rays. It's an absolutely spectacular card shape, and I love it very much. And I've just taken one here at a, a glance. This is from Lavinia Newton, and if you have a little look, even though there's a lot going on on this, because the lines are so fine, you can see without a shadow of a doubt that there is that floral behind it, which looks absolutely beautiful. Then we've got the sun rays behind this particular one. So, although subtle, nevertheless very very noticeable. And that um, easel card that I showed you earlier on, that was a an absolute winner. I buried it now. I can't find it, but I'll find it again a bit later on. Um, now, quick hello to some of you on Facebook. Uh, Ellen Cottis says, good morning. Hi, Ellen. Uh, Pearl Farrier. Hi, all. Dave, Carla and Miss Taz. This looks fab. Must get it. Crafty happiness, everyone. And to you, Pearl. Jacqueline Ward says, Dave. Uh, oh, she was telling us about Dr. Duck. We've done that. <laughs> Linda McLeod says, good morning, Carla, Dave and Miss Taz. Missed the show earlier as I slept in today. <sighs> um, nearly missed this one. Busy printing and sticking my box full of vignettes. Uh, and Linda goes on to say, loving the floral panels. That's good, Linda. Well, we all deserve a lion from time to time. We didn't get a lion today, did we? We did not get a lion, Mr. Davy B. We've uh, got, we've got grumpy back... faces this morning from all three of us. We were like, I think it was a full moon last night. I think we all got broken sleep. I, I, I go funny on a full moon. Do you start howling, Dave? Yeah. More than normal. <laughs> <laughs> we're all used to you howling, Dave. <laughs> We just let him in. It's when he's real hairy. We know it's been a bad mood. <laughs> bad mood. Right, we've got, I just want to show you this because I think it's really important. Just because aperture wise, when we're talking about apertures in mats and layers, they create a very different response as far as the view of the card is concerned. Now this has had an aperture. This is from Janine. This has had an aperture cut in the front so that panel sits perfectly there. When I open it, the panel is also cut at the back. Now start to think about how you can create using vellums and how you can use your or acetate that Carnation can sell on their website as well, which means we can create these insanely beautiful panels, doesn't it? 
we can really go to town. Now, if you start to think of uh, Nick's idea that we've previously had of the veil of separation, if you were to put some vellum behind one of those apertures and pop something behind that as well, you would get that extra detail behind it. I think this is a really important sample as a way of using that card shape, that geometric card shape that fits in beautifully with the panels that we've got, the help and healing panels. And so remember to mix and match all your pieces. But that I think structurally is a very important card and something that we can all take inspiration from. So thank you, Janine, for your work for the DT, uh, for Carnation. We, that same goes for all of the DT. You are all incredible. So let's have a look at making a card. I want to use the easy ladder card shape for the first one. For the second demonstration that I do, we'll use the panels so you can look at those as well. We're going to take in some of those creatures and look at how they come together. And we're going to look at some of those backing papers or the, uh, should I say, the perfect papers as well, which are extraordinarily important. So I've cut out the base card twice. Now on the last one that we did, we did the eight by eight. I'm actually using the base card for this. So you can see the, the style and structure of it. It's actually very beautiful as a card shape just on its own. Even if we didn't put the ladder on top, it's going to create a very pretty outline for us. So that's always nice to have, isn't it? So as I take this and I've scored that at half an inch and placed red liner tape on it. The other one I don't score, I leave it plain. I can then take the labelling off this, not the labelling, the wadjum, the covering. The wadjum. The wadjum. <laughs> Great with words until I'm not. You can shuffle those together, place them down, and put that down. And my temp base done. Now I'm going to come in with some of those perfect papers, which have just all got stuck together. That beautiful, it's like a Tiffany green, isn't it? It's very pretty. Don't forget your perfect papers. They really do help. And for those of you who have asked in the previous shows, the cardstock that I'm using for my base layer is a 350 GSM smooth cardstock from Carnation's website. Really strong card. Now, normally in the craft industry, in my experience, and Dave will probably tell you the same, the card stock that we get normally, normally, not always, but for bases is usually 300 GSM, which is a great strong cardstock. Carnation take it further and we get 350. That means that it's got more, those fibers are, hard, you know, sort of more packed together and it means that it's going to hold the weight of the cards we make better. It's a stronger structure. My advice is if you can go to a 350, go for it. It will, it will help you enormously. Well, the perfect papers like you talked about, they're only 14.99. You get 48 sheets in coordinating colorways and three different patterns for just 14.99. So that's a, if you're going for the main collection, it makes sense with all the artwork to get the, the, the cardstock that just matches. It, it, do you know what? It makes life so much easier. I was yeah. thinking about this the other day and I was just like, the perfect papers just bring everything together. So that's really, really beautiful. And when we call that tone on this particular card shape, look how pretty that is. That gorgeous chunk, isn't it lovely? It's amazing that they give you the vignettes for that as well, because you think that most people think, oh, I'll leave that plain white, it's fine. But it's only subtle colouring, but it works. It is, but we have the option to use the artwork. We have the option to cut it in white, like I've done here as well. We have the option to cut them in perfect papers. We can cut them in backing papers. There's so many ways of playing with the stuff we get from Carnation. And that means that when I, I challenge anyone, we should do, we should do, we should do a 20, 2024 challenge and we should each choose a collection that we love and make 20 cards that are completely different. And I bet we can come up with a myriad of ways because nothing in Carnation is stale. No. Push, pull. Now, I've got my beautiful, beautiful ladder vignette. So yes, as Dave was saying, we've got the artwork from this. Think of different ways of playing with this. Now, some of the cards that we've got here today from finished samples, it's been used in half, and that includes this piece here. So we're using half the card shape. It creates a smaller one. I don't know if you'll be able to see that one, Dave, but there is definitely one uh, that's been used, and it's using this, and they have scored the card at, you know, halfway across, and they've used it as a half card shape. Well, you did this one in the earlier show. And yeah, snipped a couple of them off. One. But yeah, this one's, it, I've seen it, I'll find it for the next show. But basically, if I was to create and use this piece, look how cute that is, I can 
If I folded this in half, my, ba my, my base layer, I would be able to have the top half of my ladder hanging over. And that would allow me, if you imagine that's half the card shape, that would allow me to build upright. So I've got other options as well with this. It has perfect snip lines in it. I don't need to snip into this one, but there is one in the previous show that we did where I did. You can cut it exactly to the size that you need, which is super important. For this one, I'm gonna use some Carnation Crafts wet glue, which is the Everyday PVA. Um, and I always use PVA when I'm sticking something flat and I will use pin flare if I'm trying to get some depth and height. Help if I actually had some glue. Oh, <laughs> Dave. Uh, the Everyday Glue, for those of you who are just joining us, you've never seen it before, is a low content uh, or low water content glue. Dave, can you pass me on from behind yep. you? You've got some And you get bottles. basically seven days worth. They're you all labelled different days, but they're all exactly the they same. They are identical. Okay. There is nothing different between one to the other. I obviously go through an absolute tonne of glue continually, as you can see. Cheers, Dave. There it goes. So this is it. Now you can see as it comes out, it's very thick. It comes out slowly. You'll notice with other craft uh, products, often when we're using PVA, it will come out much quicker than that. That's because this uses a very low water content. And what that means is when I put some glue down, that will evaporate very quickly. That means I can get my pieces seated with speed, but it also means I've still got a little bit of moving time. It becomes important when we're working with filigree. So please don't forget to use a good, strong, uh, PVA glue, the carnation, everyday glue is perfect and the names on the, the days of the week are just tongue in cheek. It doesn't affect the actual PVA itself, but it is one of the best PVAs I've ever used. I have actually found that card you were talking about, Carla. This, oh, there you go, This little Dave. ditty one, Fiona Abbott did this. Just so you can see, you can easily snip the ladder or the fence, whichever you want to call it, uh, down to whatever size card you're working on. You can see that's the background. So you don't have to use the whole thing? No, and I think that's that's the point, isn't it? I could use it as an easel card as well, and it will make an extraordinary easel. So it's about not pinning yourself in a corner. You're the one that's making the artwork. You are the artist, and it's that freedom to do it. I've got one of my sunny panels here. How beautiful are these? They're so gorgeous, aren't they? They just make me smile. It's uplifting. They do, and because I can use the reverse image, I can have it either way. It doesn't matter, so I can have it as a piece of sunshine coming through, or I can have it as a basing out, so I'm just laying a corner edge, which is what I'm going to do in this particular demonstration. It's just going to add a little bit of sunshine. Shine. There was a picture in the last show, I don't think I've got the card with me now, but it actually had that radiating from the bedside cabinet light. Yes. So it's like someone was, you know, over the worst, getting better, sun rays, everything good. It's symbolic, isn't yeah. it? I'm going to lay that right into my corner. So I'm framing out my card shape here and I'm creating the visual going across. So we're already structuring where things will be. I've got some plants just here that I'm going to bring in and I want those to be seated at my other corner. So I'll start with the higher one and I've got a lower one just below it. So that means I can build up height. Now, if I wanted to, I could, you know, utilize these in various different ways. I can build a bouquet by having several together, or I could create an L by using two of the lavenders. So one up and one down. I'm okay with it just as it is, because I'm going to be putting some shapes on top of it. But I do just want to explore that with you so you can see some variants. So keeping this one exactly where it is. So I know the, where I need to tuck this first. And all these plants, remember, are traditionally healing plants. So that's a... Uh... That's the connection, they're not just pretty. They're supposed to have healing properties too. It's like you, Dave, you've got healing properties. Is that right? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to make you feel good. Oh, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I've got my little table light here, which is super, super sweet. It makes your bedside lantern there, or it can just be a little element on your card base. It's up to you how you want to play it. It could be that the doctor's using the light uh, for him to make his recommendations. He could be turning the light on for a patient. There's lots of different variants of how you can tell your story. But I want a little queue of people waiting for the doctor. So I'm just going to use that my finger to roll that round a little bit, little bit of dimension. And also remember, I know we say this all the time, but for those of you that are new, you may not realize a double-sided vignette is not only a front and back, it's a left and right. So when you've got characters, if Dr. Duck is looking left and you don't want him to, you want him to look right at the patient, you can turn him around. 
If only I could do that with you in real life, Dave. <laughs> right, I'm going to put some of uh, my elements down now. So I'm starting to make, I'm committing to certain aspects that I'm putting. With this little curvature of the lid of the doctor's box, I want it to sit over the edge of my card. I want it to draw that shape round and it gives us a different view in. So I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to start to bring in different elements. So I'm taking this, place it. Pop my little mouse. I do just want to shape his head out a little bit. So I'll pop it onto my little mat here. I'm going to use one of Carnation's ball tools. Just take around his lug holes, his little face. He's so handsome. And then just round his jacket. He's a very, very handsome mouse. Hi to Neil Lester saying hello on Facebook. Also, Ellen Cottis is saying, love the way the team take the time to make sure that even the flowers are associated with the theme of the collection. It's a really good point because we didn't realise what flowers they were until later. Well, Dave, I never know what any flowers are, but yes, you're absolutely right. Nick thinks everything through and that's important for us. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's just a nice story to tell, isn't it? Mm. And if you're selling these as well, to be able to tell that when Pass you're... Pass the story uh, on, yeah. Uh, you know, craft fair. So let's shape out his little tail and his tummy. And then I'm going to work a little bit longer on his thigh, just because that would be the piece that had the most prominence. You watch his other leg. Don't break that one for whatever you do. That's me. Did I ever tell you that? What? Honestly, I have recurring nightmares about this. I once broke somebody's leg by accident. What, in real life? Yeah, in real life. No, honestly, it's like one of my biggest horror stories. I was skiing. And I, I didn't quite get the snow plow quite as well as it should have done. Oh, and so you knocked, some, into knocked into someone? And it broke their leg, oh, yeah. No. It's like a, and I can never get the thought of it. It's a recurring horror story to me. So yes, I don't want to break the robin's leg either. Um, right, so let's have a look at cutting that robin because we're going to use him in this demonstration. This is what we call a vignette. It's what you'll print out. You'll get them from the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.co.uk. No, www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. There is a banner <laughs> menu at the top and one of the options is downloads. From there, you go to free downloads and it will bring up a list of PDFs. The most recent collection will normally sit at the top of those PDFs. If you want any older ones, you can scroll through the collections to find the one you want. And look at all those words, free, 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 free. We Love like it. that. So you've got your insert papers, your back in papers, and then down on the second row there, second one in, it says Carnation Crafts, Care and Kindness, Original Colour, Download. Pop those three items into your basket and then go to checkout. You can check out with those items for free because there's no cost to them, but please do create an account so that you always have those items listed in your history. You can go back to them anytime, which helps. And then we're going to take this, once we print it, print it on ProPrint if you can, it will make a massive difference. And we have got ProPrint available on the website if you want it in lots of different weights. So uh, choose which you like. I know Carla always recommends for the double-sided vignettes or the mirrored vignettes, a 120 because that then doubles up to 240. So Yeah, it just makes it nice It's just and the, the best quality cardstock to print onto or paper to print onto. So, so chucking that together, I'm going to use a spray adhesive. You can use this or you can use a glue stick. And the Put robin is the most adorable character. I mean, they're all adorable, but I think probably the robin is one of the most loved birds in the UK. Well, I think there's, there's an, an awful lot of uh, symbolism, isn't there, with robins. Mm. So um, they always say loved ones appear when robins are near. No, Some, I think I got yes. it wrong in loved ones appear when robins are near, yeah. Oh, no, 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 robins love, appear love when loved ones are near. When robins appear, that's it. Oh, Dave, it's a day today. I'm just thinking, we were talking about, you know, humans and hospital and getting well, but let's not forget about our animals. Maybe you want to send a, 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 a lovely card to the vet to thank them for what they've done for your animal. Absolutely. And also, you know, if you've got a pet that's possibly unwell, um, to, or you know somebody with a pet that's unwell, you can send these there as well. Look at these. So pop your die on top. I'm using Cut Tidy, so I have an extra shim. I'm just going to use some reusable tape there, low tack tape, pop it down. 
and place. There's a lot of love for this collection today, which is lovely to know. Care and kindness. It launched this morning, officially at 9 a.m. It's only the second show and a big chunk of stock has already gone. And I know loads of you are loving the extra geometric card shapes as well. So if you do want to get hold of it, it's exclusive to us at the moment at Carnation Crafts TV. You can't find it anywhere else yet. Um, and that price is only that price until Friday at midnight or until the stock sells out. And I know the stock was going very fast earlier today. So it's something different as well. You know, it's bit, if you've got a Get Well Soon card that you always rely on and a style that you always rely on, this is going to give you an extra good few ways of saying get well or I'm thinking of you. You've got the traditional um, Get Well Soon type of flower, like the, 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 the remedial flowers, but you've also got the whimsical, tongue-in-cheek humour of the carnation characters. So I've cut him out, I hope if my plate has not let me down. Now, you can see that this is still on there. So if I was to lift the cut tidy with the robin on, the robin will come off with it. It's never touched the cardstock. So I never have to clean my dies when I use cut tidy. It's an incredibly valuable asset to our crafting, but I can now tear him away. And when I show you him to the camera, you'll see that he has got extraordinary detail. He's lovely. All those cut lines in his stomach, around his head and on his bandage, all those things will allow me to shape and manipulate that paper stock so that I can create something with dimension as well. It's also got cut lines in there. So for instance, if I wanted to create a picture with a circular aperture in there and I wanted to just have his little head and I didn't want the wing, there are cut lines. Now, if I just, you can see there, it's got the gap between it because it's got the cut lines. What that means is snippability wise, I can take my scissors and I can just use Nick's pip lines here to snip into that artwork and it gives, you can hear it pop almost as it goes through. Can you hear? It's like a little Like a crack. little pip, yeah. And it's those pip lines. Now I could use his little head within a circular aperture to create a different kind of card. So everything that Carnation does has got that snippable value in it. Please remember. He's not worrying about his wing anymore, is he? <laughs> Off with his head. <laughs> right, Dave. I was going to say, I can see how we got it the first <laughs> he, might have, he might have preferred a skiing accident than that. But anyway, so I am going to shape this little chap out, his beautiful little face. And I'm going to shape just that wing so it's got the protrusion. My main shaping is going to come from his bandage here. And I'm going to use the larger ball tool just on the edge of that. And as I approach towards the midline through it, I'll change ends to the smaller end. And that will allow that just to shape that little bit more there as well. And then just below his tummy line and his tail and that's got me a perfectly dimensional robin i just need to make sure that he's not sort of in one big bowl form so i can just grab the tail pull it forward do the same with his head and that's going to give me some difference in textural not textural but in you know what i mean in dimension yep. taking through some pin flare Sorry, Dave. That's right. Judy Reynolds on Facebook has got a question. Um, morning, yes. everyone. Great collection as always. Carla, could you tell me what combination you use for your cut and boss, which is the Michelle machine yeah, you use? I can't, Listen, I will. But can I just say it's not the right formation. It's the formation that works for me. And so um, I, it probably isn't the formation you would get on the box. I do just want to caveat that. But the formation that I always use is my D plate at the bottom. Then I use my B plate. And then normally when I'm cutting something, I'll be totally honest with you, I always put an A plate down and I will then put my paper and my die on top of that. And then I'll put my second A plate on. Now I don't use the magnetic shim that comes with it because I use cut tidy. And so I don't need the magnetic shim and cut tidy is far, far more superior than the magnetic shim. Mm. The the only problem I've got at the minute is that my B plate, ha B plate has bent uh, and so consequent, I mean I've had this for years. It's time for a new one. It's time to get a new one but that's the formation I use. I'm not saying it's right, I'm saying it's the formation I do. It means that if for instance I'm not getting the pressure build that I possibly need sometimes depending on how bent the you know certain things are, I can shove a piece of cardstock. I've got to tell you Carnation's 350 cardstock 
brilliant for a shim and your, your, your But also pieces. cut tidy, if you try that, that's gonna be a game changer. And uh, the actual way to use it is it actually illustrated on the packaging of cut tidy. They've got it in A5 and A4 on the website, carnationcrafts.co.uk. That's a game changer as far as I'm concerned. So just to show you this finished piece very quickly, look how clean and beautiful oh, that so is. Sweet. Perfect lines, very pretty. And you've got that lovely element at the bottom. We're still leaving some white space at the top. So visually we're not overpowering the card, but it's a very beautiful lineup. It's really cute. That little doctor, very serious with his little doctor's bag there, explaining everything he needs to the squirrel. Do you know what? We've got time for another demo. This is only the second live show of the launch of this. Care and kindness is what it's called. This is what the design team have done and what you could be doing too. I've just got to show you this card as well look, from Janine Dawson. There's no characters on there, but lots of beautiful healing flowers or flowers with healing properties. Uh, but I just think that is stunning. Look at all the layers that she's done there with the impressive geometric lines card shape. I just think that is an absolute joy. Every which way you look at it, there's so much going on, but it's so elegant and graceful. Very, very beautiful. That's a stunning, stunning card, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? How clever are the DT? Can I just, I know we always say it, but alive they're gifted right let's have a look at those panels so we can see how we can build up i'm going to put them on an eight by eight so you can see the different panels coming into play they are beautiful and we can make extraordinary cards with them so eight by eight same as always half an inch score line fold it towards your body i can smell candy floss not me can you smell candy floss no nope. can you smell candy floss no. it's really strong Oh. And then I'm just going to place that down there. Jacqueline Ward says, your dip, your, uh, regards your plate, uh, put it in the dishwasher, it cleans it, and if you get it out right away and put a weight on it, it straightens it. I love that advice. Um, I don't have a dishwasher, so that would mean putting it on under my children. Uh, they're my dishwasher. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't but, think they'd appreciate it. Thank you for the advice, but Thank Jacqueline. you. Uh, there's a lot of people before, but... at home who will be appreciative of that. So I'm using a three millimeter foam tape here. I don't put anything, uh, I don't take the backing paper off the middle. It's not seen. It's only there for support, but I do want to support it. I don't want a saggy middle. So I can place this here, pop that down and push and pull. Mine may be a bit skew if I can't lean over, I apologise. Looks okay. Back in, look at these. I'm so smitten with this backing paper. Uh, these are free as well, aren't they, to print mm. off? Yeah. Yeah, Carnation are incredibly generous, aren't they? Well, it's, so. like a, it's like a thank you from them. If you buy the collection, then they give you the artwork and the backing paper's free. Well, it just means we have this much larger playground to go on. So if I place this in, make sure I've got this the right way round. And it's always worth looking at the download section as well because very often oh. they, they issue new colourways and things like that to previous collections. So there's always something new going on on the website. Yeah, we have always got something exciting occurring. Right, I've got my two purples there. I need to, for me personally, cool the tones. You know I normally always cool the tones. I have trouble visually, for me personally, um, using a lot of colour on colour. Uh, visually I can't see it. So if you're always wondering why I put a piece of white, that's why. Um, so I've got this panel here that I'm going to put on top, but I do want that strong purple colour coming through or lilac coming through, which matches in with that French lavender so well. So same thing again. Place that on top. Push, pull, and that's going to get me beautiful. That's Perfect. my stage. I've got a stage to work with now. I can create. I've got, where is this for you? Are we going to put in a domed fence panel? Are we going to put that and put some florals on top of it? Are you just going to use one of the elongated panels in the middle with a beautiful sentiment going across? I love the idea of the white picket fence. 
It's really gorgeous. beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Really stunning. Now, what I am going to do is bring in my little lavender rays of sunshine. Aren't they beautiful? They set the scene. They create something already. We're visually going in. And more of, more importantly than not, as you will all know what I'm about to say, we've created our compositional diagonal. Well, in the corners like that, they actually look like lavender flowers. When they're in yellow, because you do get three different colorways for the vignettes, they actually look like rays of sun. So yes. Very you can effective. go through it and you've got the green ones as well. Yep. Each one matching in with the perfect papers that you will get with this collection or that you can buy with this collection. And so everything coming together. I'm going to place this in at the corner using the long edge down the bottom and the shorter edge going at the side uh, because I want to elongate outwards, not upwards. Same here. Small amounts of wet glue. I'm not worried about them all being pinned down, but you do need to obviously make sure that they are Well, secure. some of them kind of sticking up a bit gives you a bit of shadow, and that's nice. You know, I love my shadow work. I don't know where they're drilling. Just because they I, know we're on there. I think they're drilling through to you. <laughs> they're coming to get you. They'd run away fast if they did. <laughs> right, I have got some pieces here using those nested dies to create three separate panels. And I'm going to put them evenly, evenly across the card. Triptych? Just to create my triptych. Yeah, yeah, really pretty, isn't it? Love it. So I've still got that hint. I've still got that beautiful hint of the lavender coming through from those gorgeous rays. And I've just got foam tape here. I've got a nice three mil. And I'm just going to make sure. Now, listen, you need to take the time to make sure you've done this evenly. I don't have time um, and I'm doing the best I can without being able to lean over. Well, so. if, if you thought this card collection that we've got today, the uh, the care and kindness was all about DL. Yes, that is the provided or well, that is the dominant shape from the dies that you'll get for your mats and layers. But using three of them side by side, you've got a perfect eight by eight. So absolutely stunning. Yeah. So creating these three panels. Now I could have just laid out the cut panels without doing a base layer, which I've done here. The reason I don't, because I want to use these inside and you could theoretically, if you wanted to just place them straight down, my advice, don't put the daisy ray corners there, not the daisy ray, sorry, the, the, the corners there, um, because it will interfere with the actual floral display a bit more, but this will create my shadow which creates my visual impact, my height, and that means we're looking at what we're looking at, as in we're focusing on those main central pieces. So from there, I'm going to take in some of my chamomile. Mm -hmm. Do you like how I'm talking knowledgeably about yeah, the florals? not just a daisy. So what were they again? Chamomile, ginkgo, ginkgo and ginseng. There's, ginseng. There's chamomile, lavender. Lavender, that's it. So ginkgo. all kind of... And what was the one that the lady said in the previous... Echinacea? I think that's that, the yeah, big one. Yeah, echinacea. So all, all plants or all flowers associated with healing properties, which were, was a subtle pickup that we missed actually, but we've since been told, so it makes sense. It does. Well, we only missed it because I don't think either of us are brilliant at florals, no. Dave. I appreciate them, but I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I'm just gonna place this here. I did do a bit of gardening the other day. You'd have been yeah. proud of me, Dave. Hacked it all back, didn't you? Hacked it all back. <laughs> you make me sound so glamorous. <laughs> Jet washed my garden. It was all very, look at that. Already we're creating something stunning. Now and again, you've got one that... going left, one going right. Yeah. Thanks to the mirror vignette. Let's bring in that lavender tone now. Let's set everything else and draw that color out using this very beautiful French lavender. Small, tight. This is where your applicators are so important. Place in more small amounts of wet glue. And there she Beautiful. goes. Beautiful. Simple, elegant, clean, easy. Stunning. But what a gorgeous size card. So it's not just DLs, although predominantly the DL is the dominant shape in this collection. Three DLs, three of those triptychs making up an eight by eight card, which is beautiful. beautiful. And there's another one there, different heights. So one taller in the center for the taller flower. 
just stunning. So there's the floral element, which is lovely with the kind of healing property theme running through it. But then you've also got the ray of sunshine, which if anyone's been a bit poorly or feeling a bit down and suddenly feels better, there's a ray of sunshine that fits. And then you've also got the healing friends over here, which are the characters, which I absolutely love. Let me show you a few more of those. Now we've already shown you the Robin. Pam Simpson's made this card. Um, the Robin and the little squirrel next to it. And Dr. Duck is there as well. So when you want the whimsy, Carnation can oblige massively. Um, and they're just adorable, they really are. But then when you just want florals, you want to be a little bit more, um, not, not so whimsical about it, a little bit more kind of um, sophisticated, then you can of course use just the flowers. But to be honest with you, the, the characters bring sophistication as well. The Robin with a, a sling. This is a, this is a theatrical scene, this really is. This is from Vera Bode. Vera, this must have taken you a lot of time to do because it is so dimensional. There's so much going on. There's one, two, three, four, five, six layers at least. That's with just the matting and layering borders. But then in the middle, you've got this 3D scene. The bear in bed with the ice pack on his head. Um, you've got the thermometer there as well, which you've used, the little med medicine chest. <coughs> it's just a dream. And you've got the little drip by the side of him as well. So again, you get all the elements from Carnation that allow you to tell the story, to build the scene. But one of my favorite die sets has to be um, in the geometric lines. I just think this is stunning. It really, really is. I've never seen a die set quite like it. If you want to go for the um, the geometric lines and the easy ladder, they're both together in a bundle and that's the best value. You can find them on the website separately if you just want one or the other. But the best price where you get the best saving is to go for both the contemporary card shapes together for $39.99. So that is a ladder, but it's also a picket fence. It's also snippable. It could be a train track if you wanted it to be. And this one could be all sorts of things. Um, when I looked at it, I thought of like the harps, chords, for example, the, the strings on a harp, strings on a guitar, maybe. Also, it, it made me think of a retro jukebox. So there's all sorts of elements like that that you can bring into it. But it was this card that really made me go, oh, wow. Just to leave so many layers. If I bring the card in, you can see so many layers with that lovely lavender and white backdrop. It's just stunning with the height and the dimension of it. Beautiful. So if this is inspiring you, and why shouldn't it? This is another one similar, but not an easel card this time. This is done by Vera. And again, you can see the rays in the, underneath the actual, the actual strings there. So it's, uh, it's very transparent, you can see through it, but subtle at the same time. I mean, who would not love to receive a card like that? That's gonna raise anybody's spirits. And don't forget the verses you've got as well. You've got Get Well Soon, as well as that, you've also got Feel Better, which is our favourite because that covers all sorts of things if just someone's feeling a bit down in the dumps rather than not ill. Um, and then you've also got Get Well Soon, uh, Feel Better and Speedy Recovery is the other one. So all of those are in there. It's 240202 though if you want the main collection today. This is launching today. It's the second show of three. We're going to be back at one o'clock with the third one for the day. And the rule is that obviously this price is a limited price time run. It's only until Friday at midnight the price will go back up if we have any stock left. But the stock was going so fast earlier and still going well now, it may not make it till Friday at midnight. And it's exclusive to us at Carnation Crafts TV for the time being. No one else has got it yet um, and you'll get it hopefully by tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the day after if you order it today. It is available on pay PayPal Pay in 3 and ClearPay or you can pay in full. Under £100, free postage. If you're in the USA, shipping and handling for you is four ninety five for the collection. If you want things like your pro print paper. If you want your perfect papers, that will be another uh, £10 on that. So £14.95 is the maximum shipping and handling you'll pay in the United States. But we'll get it to you as quickly as possible. Carla, thank you, my love. Thank you very much. Uh, I think it's lunchtime. Yes, it is. You ready for lunch, Taz? Yeah, I am. All right. Okay, we'll see you back at one o'clock then. Enjoy ordering your collection. We'll get it to you as quickly as we can. And remember, check out the website carnationcrafts.co.uk and print off your vignettes right away. We'll see you in about an hour at one o'clock. <laughs>